there are often openings in brickwork. One of the things commonly used to fill these openings is an archway. This video will show how to set up and mark out an archway accurately. Before you begin, you need to build a wall either side up to the height of the start of the arch. This is called a pier. For this video, we've built the arch at a much smaller height than you will probably experience. Before arches are built, a temporary support called an arch centre needs to be constructed. Note that timber will be used for support on larger arches. This arch centre will need to be supported by two blocks on either side of the gap that the arch is bridging. The height of these blocks should finish just below the top edge of the piers. Once these blocks are in place, you then place the arch centre on top of the blocks. In this case, the arch centre is a curved wooden support which you'll use to set out the arch. Next, under each side of the arch centre, on top of the blocks, place two folding wedges. Line up the arch centre with both of the piers so that it's positioned exactly where the space under the arch will be. Now use the folding wedges to level and plumb the arch centre. The bottom edge of the arch centre should be approximately level with the top of the piers. When the arch centre is plumb, mark the centre point of the arch at the bottom of the arch centre using a pencil. From this marking, plumb up the arch centre to the top. Mark the line up to the top of the arch centre and then mark this point. This centre point now marks the centre of the brick that will be set at this place on the arch. This brick is called the key brick. Now that you know the position of the key brick, you can mark its position on the arch centre. Using a tape measure, measure from the far edge of the key brick along the circumference to one side of the arch centre. Divide the measurement you've taken by 85 millimetres. This is the width of one brick, 75 millimetres plus 10 millimetres for the joint next to it. This will tell you how many bricks will be needed to construct the arch. If the division is fractionally out, simply adjust the joint sizes equally along the arch. You can now mark out the bricks to the adjusted measurement. Start from the pier to the key brick. Don't forget to mark the 10 mm joint for the key brick as well. Now mark out the other side of the arch centre in exactly the same way. These marks now represent the top positions of the bricks being laid for the arch. For arches where cut bricks will be needed, these will need to be marked out to help figure out the dimensions of the cut bricks. To check that the measurements are correct, a string line should be pulled from the centre point through the marked positions. With all of this information, you're now ready to start constructing the arch.